Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm not gonna say I don't get excited at the junkyard. Wowie, wow, wow. So here we have a 1996 uh, Chevy Lumina minivan. I think they ditched the APV at that point in time. You can tell it's a 96 for two reasons. A, it's written on it. And B, it's a 3400 engine. That's the only year that they were available from. Had a little bit more horsepower than the 3.8. Oh, there's the washer tank. A uh, little bit more horsepower than the 3.8, uh, but a little bit less torque. So 50-50 on whether you like that or not here. But uh, 5W30 engine oil, it's pretty much the upgrade to the 3100. Radiator is bone dry. They usually clean these out. And I might steal that, and I definitely want to steal that, the windshield washer uh, motor assembly, because mine is not working great right now. Uh, it's in great shape, at least the grill is. Looks like the headlight got a little ding right there. But otherwise, it's really clean, and you think it's clean on the outside. It's got awesome hubcaps. Whatever. <laughs> the interior in this thing is clean. So there'll be parts missing with this one when we're, when we're done with it. Didn't mean to hit the other door there. Uh, power window, power door lock. Carpet is just in mint shape. We come up, take a look at the inside here. Uh, we have my minivan interior. I'm actually taking these with me. They're in, in perfect shape and this is cool too. Um, ashtray's been smoked in, that's gross, but I technically need one. How sad is that? Maybe I don't. Maybe I do, we'll see, run it through the dishwasher. All the controls and all the printing is great. We've got a nice unit here. Uh, it has no way, 85,000 kilometers on this van. Why is it here? What is wrong with it? Someone took the seat belt that's over there. We got an airbag horn that doesn't work obviously. Um, the knob controls here that are cool, non-tachometer, so that's a note. But this thing is just minty on the inside. Owner's manual is gone. Well, let's take a look at that and see if there's anything awesome that makes this come back here because we totally missed an option we totally wanted. Unfortunately, I need the struts on the back of this and we don't have the key. So we're gonna have to pop the back to get that open here. Nice chairs in great condition. Oh, that's what it does. Look at that. That lever moves the seat up and down. That is hot sauce. That's what mine doesn't do. I gotta figure that out. If I was gonna swap interiors into a, an interior like this, th this is all over it. Even that Lumina written up on the, the front cover there again. What a delicious car. So clean. It's uh, just perfect. Interior. It's got, you know, typical staining that you'd find here, but we got to explore that area there for heater cores and stuff like that. Somebody left me some jack parts. That's handy to have. That's the rod to get the tire down and that. I will take it. That's all that's in here though. Got cracking on the back again. And what I noticed is on the later models, you, the speaker covers weren't separate. They were actually part of it. So uh, no compressor on this one, just the 20 amp. Bolt, uh, switch there. Um, nice little console up here. We might take that. Uh, but yeah, just in remarkable shape. Well, these are all backwards. What's up with that? Usually buckles are supposed to... Is that Terrytown quality? I'm not 100% sure, but uh, very neat. I already got replacement lights for mine. Mine were just, they got so hot. I got to switch them with LEDs. Looks like it came with a factory car net too. That's not included here anymore. Nice little, that's the same as all, but just clean. I don't know if I have that light. I'll have to double check. Nothing in the door. We'll take our time with this one and just pull all the neat stuff here. Tail lights are in remarkable condition. So is the wiper arms. This thing has no miles on it. It's amazing. Uh, we already stole the gas cap. It's white, so it'll match my van in terms of I can just put it in now. My release was broken on mine, but I think if that's the same size, we'll just put the spring pop in one there. Wow, is it white? <laughs> Maybe this is what mine looks without any red or without anything. So, and then the driver's side is just, oh, what a treat. Whoa, the seat's way back. And uh, yeah, that's cool. Mine is on the upright position, so that's where I would have it anyway. Well, what a nice van. It's a shame they had to tank it. I wonder if it blew the motor or transmission or something like that, and that's why it, it got tanked. But what a, what a sweetheart. Base, it looks like, to be honest with you, it's got air conditioning, but hubcaps, it's not the wheels, which is rare, you know, type of thing. They all came with that motor. Probably all came with air conditioning. I'm not a, whew, the lid. 
Oh, that's got to come with me. These are hard to find as well. So that's pretty awesome. It's got some nice picking stuff here. And this is at Bucks Auto Parts here in Sherwood Park in Alberta. Pretty neat specimen. We're going to get some parts to keep mine alive for a long time thanks to this girl. If you have any questions on it, feel free to ask. There's a GMC steering wheel in here for no reason. Someone yanked the battery out. Probably the boys who own the lot here. And uh, if you have any questions, ask them, comments, leave them, and please subscribe to my channel, Turbo231, for more awesome videos like this one. And we'll see you next time. This interior is going to be just a pleasure to take apart. I need the door handles. I don't need them. I want them in case mine break.